This was the first institution to open an ultra-Orthodox campus, create a broad program for Ethiopian Jewish immigrants, and uh, continues developing higher education for the Arab community as well. How are you able to work with so many uh, different sectors and populations, and how do they coexist here at Ono? Israel is a very complex society. How do you make a multicultural campus in a reality where each segment of Israeli society is living alone? So what you asked me is the million dollar question. And the answer is with a lot of patience, a clear declaration saying, I don't want to change you. And how does having these diverse groups, some of whom are unrepresented in, in business life or in the high tech sector, is this kind of dream of coexistence, does that play out here at the, at the college? This is a battle, I'm using the word battle uh, clearly because it's something that we all have to work on. Now, for the first time in their lives, all Israelis are meeting here on campus. The state is telling us, wrongfully, that we could exist in Israeli society without meeting anyone else. And then they come to Ono with the dream of working one day in the job force understanding that everybody has to leave their safe haven and create a new haven of coexistence. That is something that is very, very difficult, and we work at it for three years, day by day. How do we make sure that our cur curriculum is talking about examples that everybody could understand and no one feels harmful? How do we make sure that we are meeting constantly and talking about our differences, because they're so used to saying, you can't sit here. And, oh no, you can't say that. And once that's out, it's clear that you have to see and say, how, how do I coexist with you? That is something that we work, and I think we have a lot of success. Maybe you can sum up for me what for you is unique about uh, Ono Academic College. First, clearly, we hired the best teachers in Israel. Without the best teachers, you can't do it. One. Two, you have to make sure that your curriculum is up to date all the time. Meaning, for professors to come and say, one second, this is the curriculum that I wrote, and now you're asking me to change it? Absolutely. Because modernity means that things are changing rapidly every day. Two. And three, the multicultural experience. Every Israeli that comes to Ono is equal. Every Israeli that comes to Ono comes home. Those three elements, I think, make the Ono experience the best academic experience in Israel. The graduates that you've seen coming through these doors as they were when they came in and as they are when they leave, uh, are there any particular stories of graduates that really struck a chord with you that maybe you can share? looking at an Ethiopian parliament member that became now the minister. <laughs> Penina Tamano Shata. I remember her year one here in law. Hebrew not that great. Confidence on the floor. And you should see her today talking to the Israeli parliament. Talking in Israeli parliament, you yell. Yelling in Israeli parliament as equal, clear leadership. That's what Ono's about. That gives me a lot of satisfaction. I can imagine. Um, but there are issues sometimes with tuition costs which sometimes prevent these students from studying, from perhaps attending college uh, that they would want to. Um, how does your institution help them? We make sure that no student, no student, and I'm saying zero, is left behind. We make sure that every student gets what he needs to make sure that he finishes his studies. He has to pay. I don't believe in free tuition. Ono is a very, very big institution with 17,000 students. We have the ability to help. I need a lot of partners because we are creating here real change in Israel because social change could only be done with masses. We have 4,000 ultra-Orthodox students studying at Ono today. We have 5,000 Israeli Arabs studying at Ono today. We have 800 Ethiopian students studying today. 
These are big numbers, but we need partnerships. We need help to make sure that we continue to maintain the success stories, the thousands of success stories that we are creating here at ONU. So what would you kind of summarize as your college's secret to success? I mean, you're basically asking me, what does an ONU graduate mean? And it's clear to me that I want to become a manager of a bank today in Israel. I want to become a manager of a high-tech company. I want to become a manager of, of a leading law firm. I have to know how to discuss with all of Israel. That you could learn in Ono. How do I make sure that everyone together understands that a strong Israel means an Israel that's diverse, that's an Israel that is a multicultural, equal society? That I could learn only in Ono. I'm just wondering, for you, who is it that inspires you uh, the most? Who is it that's influenced you the most, uh, perhaps in undertaking this mission of yours? My parents gave me the inspiration um, and the vision when they said clearly, don't give up. Israel is our only home. Make sure that it's an amazing home and it's a home that we will feel proud to live in. And that's what we're doing. Ronan Hartman. Thank you very much. Thank you.